Okay. Now we are in the caves of the Well of Souls. Oh! Okay, this is a little bit overkill, but... Did not mean to use quite so heavy an attack. That's fine. It fills up real fast nowadays. So... Oh, a little bit of water here. Fortunately, we have our Gratios Talisman equipped, so... And they're all bopped. Thank you. Water does nothing to me. 20 soul stones. Oh, that's a big help actually. I might get I might get one of the uh one of the ultimate weapons now. By virtue of that. Obviously, if I get one, it's going to be Adol's weapon. You, if you saw correctly last time, uh, his weapon type becomes all, which I assume means... Well, I don't know if he'll get weaknesses on enemies, but what he will at least do is not not have resistances against enemies, so we can just have Adol be in the party all the damn time. I mean, that's what we do all the time, damn time anyway. But okay, we have freedom to have whoever the heck we want as the other two characters, basically. Ow. Oh, these things. Okay... Ah, final dungeon, last hurrah of using all of your, like, items, I assume, is what we're setting up for here. Thank you. <laughs> you crazy wiggly beetle, you. Wow, look at him get juggled there. Ow! Okay, so I kind of rolled in that one. Oh! No, that's right, I had the boots equipped. It's all good. What was this guy doing wiggling there? By the way, did I... I walked past an entrance. What am I, what am I doing? Wait. Oh, how did I manage to de-equip my stupid boots? Oh my, I am such a klutz. How did I miss this one cave entrance? I, I saw it when we started this area, but then I just kind of walked past it. Well, no matter. Wasn't a long backtrack. 20 titano bones. Uh, I'm sure I'll find some use for those. Um. Oh. Now I'm again intimidated as to what is progress and what is not, because that looked very... There was like three entrances there? Oh, no you don't. Thank you. So let's check this place instead. Yeah, this is actually... Okay, this appears to just be... This appears to be the uh, dead end. I didn't think so because this was a longer trip to get here, but... Oh. Really? I just hit that as a joke. I didn't think that was gonna work. Alrighty then. Striga Extract. Can I drop down from here? I can. Which means I'm now... Huh. That's the place I came in through last time, I believe. Oh, cool. She has cataract... Was that cataract blue, whatever that last attack was? That looked crazy. Oops. Again, it's not a big deal. We'll get this ad back soon. Oh, that's really unfortunate for that guy who depends on running around to get frozen. Yeah, that's where we were. Okay, just checked. To be sure. Aha! Some vicious winds there. Apparently. There we go. Tss. 
the winds of the dead and blow us away. There's a huge side area to the south there. Except, as we've seen now, a lot of these side areas actually are necessary to access the way forward, so... We shouldn't say they're side areas right away. For example, here's a lot of blowing... No, we can't get to this cave entrance, okay? We can't get there, okay. Cool, cool. We cannot access that side area yet. Unless I have some I item I'm forgetting about, which is like anti-wind, but I don't think I have one. Cool. Okay. Doesn't sound like there's no wind here, so... Ugh. These wiggly creepos. Wow, your combo's up to level 7? That's impressive. You've been doing that a lot in this game, haven't you, doggy? Oh no. Got me in the corner with his wiggly antennae of electricity. Look at those levels just racking up today. Oh no. KO. No, not that one. This one. Uh, I tried to hit the other one as well. Try to catch them both. Well, not a big deal. They're dealt with anyway. More soul stones, come on. Titano spines. Okay, I'll take that as well. Oh, some more of these. Oh, yes. All those soul stones. That was lucky. Are we going to get... Yes, we cannot walk there, we will simply get blasted. So, we need to get something to deal with this wind soon. Oh! We're back here! Yeah, I was wondering when this would come back up. And here we are. Okay. Oh, that's a item chest. The Moon Talisman. Prevents damage from concentrated winds of destruction. <laughs> concentrated winds of destruction, that's funny. Alrighty, I'm just gonna run over to that obelisk real quickly. Honestly, I don't need to run there, I could just teleport. But it's all immaterial, really. And I was thinking, now have those guys respawned? Those, uh... Dragleths? But we don't have to go that way, so we're not gonna find out. Oh yeah, let's equip the, those talismans. Before I walk into these winds, let's go over here real quick, like. Avoid these lads. Pardon me. Oh no. I'm stuck on the geometry. Now let's check this branch here, if there's any interesting treasures to be had. Oh, well we may, we may not take damage from that wind, but we are still stimmied by it, which, sure. Oh, now we have to fight a person in these conditions. Oh, that didn't go too bad, but that's because I had my pentagram ready. Uh. Mm -hmm. Heavy belt? Whoa, that's a heavy belt. Oh, I forgot to put an accessory on Doki. That's embarrassing. Wearer moves slowly, but is unaffected by strong winds. Like, that's not that great, honestly. Um, 
You can have the Vitality Crown now. Well, what's the Knight's Crest? Increases EXP gained. Oh. What was the Trading Ring then? Increases skill EXP gain. Oh! That's different from character EXP. I'm. Good thing I checked that. I didn't understand at all. I am foolish. Well, you can have the Vitality Crown anyway. And. Oh. Um. Also, what should we give you? Wild Rage, sure. Nah, the Heavy Belt, like, okay, sure. It'll help with these wind conditions, but us moving slowly is just as much a problem as us being buffeted by winds. I'm sure I can avoid these wind effects well enough. We beat those couple of monsters. Of course, we'll see what happens when several of them attack us in the winds once we go over here. I assume that's coming up. Oh man, look at this. The very... The very world itself is trying to prevent us on our quest. What did you do there, Dogi? It looked interesting. I'll give you that much. Wait, what's hitting me? I kept getting hit by something at the end there. That was weird. I have the talisman equipped, so... There we go. Oh, this is tricky. Do <laughs> because we can't unequip the moon talisman on account of these... Uh, on account of these winds, but we have to avoid being blasted into the spikes. What a... What a sneaky level. Okay, okay. In fact, now would be a great time for that heavy belt, yeah? Let's just... Just for this occasion, let's do it. Save us a little bit of the hassle, yeah. I mean, this is... This isn't optimal, but... Huh, again with two different routes to go. Well, let's go this way since I... I'm committed. I don't want to go through that gauntlet again, so... Hmm. I think this might be progress after all. I may be screwed up in not going to that one area over there. Cerberus! Nice doggy. Kangaroo Cerberus, even. It's not that crazy. I've seen pictures of, like, weird, like, dogs that have lost their front feet. It's one of those pictures that goes around on the internet in one of those, like, I can't believe it's not photoshopped pictures. It's, like, kangaroo dogs with dogs that have lost their, their, uh, front legs. But they're still able to, like, stand on their hind legs like kangaroos. Hey, guys. Oh, good job bringing the enemy while I'm trying to pick my flowers here. Or wood, as it were. You nitwits. Well, here we'll here's what we'll do. If we don't go back to that one room later on, then it doesn't look like. I'm fairly confident we'll get a... Um... A whatchamacallit, a obelisk later on. Ow, I'm getting unnecessarily hit here. You know what? Let's so I don't use my healing items. Let's 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 go there right now, actually. Let's go back to the previous obelisk. Then we'll run back to that one place and check it, and then we'll come back here. Even though I'm gonna have to do that gauntlet of um spikes again. Oh dear. This was not well thought out at all now, was it? Pardon? But I feel like I got this. Don't, don't, don't you worry, guys. Just need to make it across this bridge. Oh no! This, this, these are unnecessarily creepy monsters, are, let's be honest. Ooh, dear. 
Oh, this, yeah, this is completely an optional area. Thank goodness I came back. Uh, although, this monster right here makes me wish I had not come this way. Look at this thing. It died easy enough, but, uh... That is an uncomfortable creature. Some sort of flatfish monstrosity. And Star You! Got his defenses up. Damn, Star You. Yeah, let me uppercut this horrifying flatfish. Well, it really drops a lot of money. That's that's nice. Some hard hide. I'm gonna star you again. Ow! It's quite the spike you got there, Star You. And one more of you lads. Yeah, let me. <laughs> I love the idea of uppercutting this stupid giant fish. It's too bad you can't actually launch it in the air. That'd be hilarious. Uh, uh. Let's do ultimate strike. Okay. That's pretty good damage. Clone statue. Consider my curiosity peaked. Revives its wearer automatically in battle. Well, that's really nice. Is it like a one-time only thing? Because otherwise that's kind of... Mm. I guess I can put that on Dogi, just for the heck of it. Oh, that's why... No, that's why guys healed that one time and I was confused why he healed, because he had the... Vitality crown equipped. Okay, durr, I am a dum dum. And instead of clone statue, let's put that heavy belt on again. Just to make this a little bit easier on ourselves. Uh yeah. Ow. Damn it! My perfect streak, I ruined it. Because I got too complacent with my heavy belt. Can I go this way? No, no. Hell to the no, this way. No. Gee willikers. I'm pretty sure I would have hit those spikes at the end there if I didn't have the heavy belt on me, so it, it's, it's all good. Let's give that clone statue a go again. Pretty sure I got these already once, but... Yeah. Sorry, Cerberus. Not today. Wow, that guy got destroyed so hard. Okay, now we'll carry on. Hasn't been a crazy huge episode today, but... Oh! I see! Not bad, Dogi. Not bad at all. It's the final dungeon, so you know it's gonna be a huge ride through this place. It's not gonna be... I, I'm, I'll be shocked if there's more after this dungeon. This is so, like final dungeon. You can tell because everything's purple. The most unnatural color in the universe. I just made that up. Don't quote me on that. Oh, Cerberus, you are tough. But we beat him in the end. Get some moonstones. I was actually kind of thinking we might beat the game today, but now there's 10 minutes left of this episode, and we've only reached the lower well of souls now. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not happening yet today. Maybe... Maybe next time. Thank you. Here's this goober. Some 
Alright. Alp flowers, good. We might go synthesize those at some point. Oh. Well, why don't I just use one at this point? It's a bit of a waste, but... I don't know if I'll be coming back here ever again, so... Hello, Cerberus. Let me introduce you to my ultimate strike. They're really tough enemies, though, Cerberi, so I just... Decided to use it. Maybe not the most useful use, like most fitting fitting use for that move, but yeah. Oh good. Those ones I always look forward to. And he got bopped. Oh! More of these. Mysterious Alp Flowers. That's weird. Uh, flowers that only grow in the Pit of Souls. It's a little spooky. Oh, what are you now? Right, they're flying enemies, so... Oh, really? They're soft enemies, or, or slimy enemies, whatever you call them. Beastiorator. That's... I don't know what that is. We are bestiorators! <laughs> Hooray. There we go. Again, a bit of an overkill, but... Mm, these damn flying squids are too creepy for me to use restraint on them. Ah, he's got me cornered. This is still the creepiest enemy in the game. There's something really weird about the design and its way of attacking. It's makes me a little uncomfortable. Oh, we just cut up there like that. Okay. Wait, how did I do it? Look at this. I think I think we just sequence broke something. I don't think you're supposed to be able to just jump like that. Yeah, no, look, you're supposed to wrap down, wrap around and climb up from the bottom. But I found a little uh, speedrun strat, I guess. Cool. Well, I guess I will... Again, it's a huge waste, but I just don't think I'll be running back here. It seems unlikely. Cerberus. Did I even hit him? I, I, I aimed that pentagram terribly. There we go. Oh no. Oh no, here come the Wigglies. Oh, really? Another streak I extract? But I'm pretty sure we're all in, like, good health here, so... Wait, did I get that one? Yeah, yeah, that's the other streak I extract we got. Just take one of those Cerberi out. Two of them? Yeah, no. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give it a shot fighting two of them at the same time. Oh, that's a funny pose he throws in. Phew! Like, I, I won't deny it. I'm kind of intimidated by Cerberus. He's big and mean. Those terrifying moves. That huge spin move it does. Like, there's a, there's a tail there, if you look. He, like, um, rears his tail a little bit. But it's still something that uh, spooks me a little. Didn't I take step shot off of your repertoire? What? Why did you use step shot? Oh well. Cerberus! Down boy! Ah, see that's the exact thing. You can see him rear, but. Oh, and he has a biting move. Oh, yep, yeah, here goes. Well. 
Nice one, Aisha. Slow Cerberus down a little bit. Oh! There he goes again. And then this Wiggly here. Only problem is not a lot of enemies dropping soul stones anymore. In the beginning it was way better area for grinding those from enemies, although these rocks seem to be the best chance to get them. Yeah, okay, soul stone rate has gone up in this later part of this dungeon, so that's good. The music ended. Oh dear, give me a give me an obelisk. For the love of God. Okay, thank goodness. Um Yeah, uh, we got like a couple more ep minutes of episode left, honestly, but, um, all signs point to us being close to the end. You know what? Let's, let's do one thing at the end of the episode. End. Let's go check out those ultimate weapons at this point. Man, this is really dramatic the way Iskas turned out compared to the previous place. The other place are just covered in miasma, and that's not nice, but... Freaking Blood Moon over here is kind of un alarming. Okay, let's see. Have, can we get anything with this? Ugh, I'm still five soul stones off. Ugh. And I could get that. Um... And I could also get Doki's ultimate. Oh, well, I can get this, actually. I'll just get this for uh, Aisha now, so that's that's nice, at least. The Echidna bow. That gives you Skywinder. Jumps over the enemy and releases a water pillar. That sounds super fun. I should give that move to her. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. They didn't have moves previously, Doki and, and Geist, but now they do. Ceres and Noah, okay. Oh yeah, it doesn't use a dragon stone, but it's still like a zero G, so it must have been unlocked at some point. Okay. Look at all those moonstones we have now. I was worried previously how we we're gonna find enough moonstones. Now we're rocking in them. Zeno Ides, okay. Oh, the Antichrist's a little. I think I could have gotten that previously, I seem to recall. Oh, no, no. Well, I could make this Levoke, but um, I don't actually want to start making weapons. Uh, well, I made one for Aisha already, and that already may have put a damper in my stuff. But Because um, there's these other items, crystallized twigs and soft hides that are eaten up. I don't really want to eat up my supplies on that end. Since I'm so close to getting... I, I think I'll get Adol's weapon. That's the obvious choice, is the Kaliosarion. And we just need five soul stones. The other one, honestly, Dogies. We could totally get the Ceres and Noah. The Obishuta's a little off because this crystallized twig. Yeah, because I ate up my twigs to make the Echidna bow. See, I already screwed over myself. I could have made Aisha's Obishuta, but... I screwed up on that end. And also a bunch of other characters. Well, not, not Mishira, okay. So, um... Yeah, we should have ended the episode here. Um, actually, you can stop watching now, guys, who don't want to see the rest of this, like little extra stuff. Thank you. We'll see you next time for the finale of the game, presumably. The rest of you guys, let's actually grind those soul stones. Like, I, five soul stones? That's an amount of grinding I'm willing to do. I will make one dragon weapon, and that'll be Adol's ultimate. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's do a run to collect some soul stones. They started to drop a lot more from this point onward, so we will go do that. Also, yeah, let's, uh... I feel like Somersault I could replace with that move, Sky Skywinder? I feel like I could do that. Um, I, its cost isn't enormous either, so I just want to see what it does, so... Oh, perfect, right here. Just just moonstones, wasn't it? Yep, still no soul stones, okay? We will not despair, there's plenty of these spikes on the way. Okay, these enemies do not drop those, so let's not bother. 
Well, we can always use crystallized twigs, as we saw. <laughs> See, now I'm actually I'm thinking of grinding. Oh man, what's happening to me? I might do it. I might do a little bit of grinding off screen just for these items that I know I can find. Um, like, uh, I just queue up one of my podcasts, catch up on some of the podcasts I haven't been listening in a while, do some grinding. Oh man, I'm feeling I'm feeling loopy just thinking about doing that, but um, I might be game. Get some Alp flowers as well. Oh, thank goodness I had those shoes on. I wonder if there's any item which increases item drop rate. That would be useful at this part of the game, for sure. Come on, baby. I think that was just a moonstone again. Again, the soul stone seems to be rare on these slime monsters, but they do drop them, so... <sighs> moonstones, moonstones. Everyone is a moonstone. You are nothing to me. Well, twigs were one of the most important things, so... We're good in that sense. Yeah! No! I don't remember all the harvest places, but, um... Have I found a single soul stone? Not a single soul stone I found yet. I was... They were dropping so much at one point. What happened? Well, there's one of these goofballs. He'll provide me what I need. I don't know if I got any. And he drops crystallized twigs as well. He must be some kind of plant monster then? So those are all items that I need. Great. I don't know why I went this way around. I just wanted to avoid those enemies. Um, well, this is another cavern, so with luck we'll find some crystals here. Those harvestable crystals. Well, he got destroyed, didn't he? Well, our twig problem's gonna solve itself pretty soon, so we can also maybe get Aisha's weapon? I don't know about the other characters, but if I could get for Dogi and Aisha their weapons... Okay, good, a couple of soul stones. Oh, three even. Okay, I need two now, I think. Yeah, okay. The other characters, I'm not making any promises, but I just might have the stamina to grind off screen to get the stuff that uh, Dogi and Aisha need. Come on, one more, one more. Ugh, you are interrupting my hunt for the items, you slimy monster. Or maybe I should get, again, <laughs> uh, poor Dogi, but I just, I just think Krushi is cooler than Dogi. There we go. The soul stone I needed. I'll just get this one while I'm here as well. No, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna commit to this grind, I might as well grab them. Was there anything over? No. Well, a couple of these guys. I'll just kill them as well. They might drop soul stones. This enemy type. We'll also get some levels that we might need for the final battle as we beat up these guys. But okay, now we should have what we need to get. Adel's thingy, the, the, his ultimate weapon, Kaliocerion, which is exciting. What, what's the skill it gives, by the way? That's also a good question. Oh, it just gives pentagram. Okay, well, that's fine. Aw, oh, dude. What's he look like now? That's a cool sword. Yeah. And this is so... This is like all, apparently. It's got the big star there, so... I'm, I'm not sure what that means in practice. We'll, we'll, I will, we'll find out. Now let's review the other two guys. Um, hey, I might consider this training for Monster Hunter once 
Monster Hunter World drops, which I believe is in just a couple of days of the when I'm recording this. It's uh, coming on PC and on the 9th of August, I think? Uh, oh, I was ex excited for a second. What? He can get it? No, 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 no. It's this one. Ceres and Noah. Okay, so Doki just needs that. Then this Obishuta. We have... Okay, we need a little bit more twigs. That's not going to be a problem. Those drop plenty. And we need the soul stones. So I need 94 soul stones to get the equipment for these guys. All right, then. Or for guys. Hmm. Guys is pretty cool. Now, this is a problem, though. I'm not sure what monsters drop monster feathers. I only need nine, so that's not a huge hassle. And... Titano spines, I think... Some of the big monsters drop them in there, but I'm, I'm not sure either. Finally, Ramsame. Uh, okay, that's also just need to get some more twigs. Okay, I'm not making promises, but I might just sit down today and grind out 94 soul stones so that I can get Aisha and either Dogi or Geiss up to snuff. I think I could try to do that. In the meanwhile, should I buy something? Is there anything? Oh, a red moon shield. I'll just get that for Adel as well. Thank you. Oh, and better bangles. I've got a ton of money. Mm. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna do that right now. In any case, we are ending the episode here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll see if I can do the grind and I will check if there's any item that like increases item drop rate that would obviously be very nice in this situation now wouldn't it so uh, yeah um, catch you all next time for probably the finale I guess uh, we'll see goodbye yeah.